What's going on guys, it's Drew here, I make Knives Fly, and I am a new Epic Gaming Director. In this gameplay, this is a regular 6v6 domination on Overflow. I go completely knife only, and I go 50 and 6, which is my best in this game. Um, I get one kill with the B2-3R because I panic on a huge kill streak, but that's all. And I get a couple hunter killer kills, but not that many, so I did really good. I got two Ruthless's medals. Ruthless metals, whatever. But anyways, let's get into the commentary. I am a knifer. Um, on my channel, I mainly do knife montages, and in those knife montages, they're mainly bank shot montages, and that's really my specialty. Uh, I have a series called Banking It, and in that series, I get challenges from the comments out of each episode, and I go for the challenge, and it's, it has to be a bank shot, and I upload it and give credit to the people who give me the challenges and that's one of my series the next one I do is a domination combat axe spot series pretty much what I do on there is exactly what I just said uh, I go in domination and show you guys combat axe spots for each flag and I'm gonna go through every map also do a top five Friday series which happens every Friday and all the clips in there are black ops 2 knifing clips only and yeah, so I started my YouTube channel on November 4th, 2012, which was my 15th birthday, so yes, I'm 15. Um, Modern Warfare 3 was my first ever Call of Duty. Um, before that, I just played some MLB games, Skate, uh, some Tom Clancy games. I didn't really know what Call of Duty was. I'm kind of new to Call of Duty, so Modern Warfare 3, when it came out, I got it the day of release with some of my birthday money that year, and... I loved it, and I really got into COD. I used to be a complete tryhard. All I cared about was KD, Moabs, and all that fun stuff. But I changed over this summer, I believe, maybe after this fall. Um, I've only been knifing for about four months total. Um, I've only been banking for about two to three months. So I think I'm pretty decent considering the time I've actually been doing it compared to other people who have been doing it for a really long time. Um, when I hit 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a community montage. So if you guys want to go check out my channel and I will be, when I hit 400, which should be very soon, maybe when you're watching this, I'll already be at 400 subscribers. And when I hit 400, I'll be uploading a video saying more information on the community montage and how to submit. Um, I am partnered with Social Blade and I got my partnership in early January. Uh, on my channel I also do occasional live commentaries but those don't happen much. Sometimes I do some all or nothing live commentaries, sticks and stones, just whatever I really feel like. That's just whenever I can't really think of any videos and I just do a live commentary but most time I keep up with my knife montages banking it series uh, combat axe spots in my top five Fridays which usually occur very often I try to upload every day but if I can't upload every day I'll at least do it every other day to keep my channel active and if you're wondering what got me into knifing after becoming a tryhard in Mar for three um, it had to be straight up knives I just discovered his channel through a friend who said he was just amazing. So I checked out his channel and his FSUs, and I was just shocked. It, I was so surprised, and I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't know it, it was possible to be so good with a knife, and I was so shocked, and I wanted to do it too. So I went all or nothing, and I just had tons of fun doing it. And what got me into bank shotting was not straight up knives, or... Ponaholic, even though he's a great bank shutter, I didn't know who he was until later on. It was my friend known for knives. He got me into bank shotting. He, um, he was my, he's been my friend for a long while now, and he, we went in private matches, practiced some bank shots. He really showed me how to bank shot. He helped me think like a bank shotter. Think instead of let's go for the feed. No, let's throw this at the wall at this angle and get a bank shot. And it just really changed the way I think about the way I play. And I want to thank No For Knives for that. And you should go check out his channel and subscribe to him too. He's he's awesome. That's about all I have for this video. I want to thank Tomahawk Tater and the rest of the Eptic crew for letting me join Eptic. 
Um, please go check out my channel and subscribe if you like what you see. And have a great day, guys. Peace.